Hello everyone, my name is Patrick McGorry. I'm the Executive Director of Origin and I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you today about um, the prospects for suicide prevention. It is a relief that the very high suicide rate has not deteriorated further in the, in the context of the pandemic and the reasons for this would be good to understand. But I think it's very important we don't become complacent. We saw a rise just prior to the pandemic to, from eight to nine suicides a day. And the situation, particularly for young people, is, is actually uh, getting worse. So um, we need to redouble our efforts. How do we do this? Well, I think Christine Morgan's plan covers all the bases extremely well. And it, it rises above the false dichotomy, which often uh, we see in this space where people talk about um, social determinants and, uh, and upstream efforts to intervene early. Um, as somehow in, in um, tension or competition with providing um, crisis and, and uh, acute care to people. Of course, we need a spectrum of activity and, and the reason the, the crisis and the acute care issue is so prominent is because of the underinvestment in upstream um, missing middle activities to, to intervene prior to the, the, uh, the really acute and, and highly dangerous suicidal crisis. So we need to invest in all, all of these activities and, and basically implement every single level because no one thing on its own is going to turn back the tide. Um, but the low hanging fruit certainly would be to, to help much more effectively the people who are reaching out for help and being turned away on a daily basis. And we have seen a surge in the pandemic of suicidal behavior, even though that has not yet resulted in an increased death toll. So. Um, look forward to hearing other people's views and um, thanks for the opportunity to speak to you today.